It's no secret Raleigh is growing. The city is looking at plans to make the Midtown area more walkable and connected, but not everyone supports that idea. Our Colleen Quigley is live tonight to walk us through that proposal. Colleen. Hey, Mario, so we are on Industrial Boulevard behind the Costco right near the Ritz, and the plan actually calls for turning this entire area into a waterfront district. But some developers I spoke with today, or excuse me, some property owners I spoke with today feel this plan only benefits developers. Nestled just off the Beltline and bookended by busy city roads, Raleigh officials want to take Midtown from a place to go through to a destination. Air precedent or Thursday, Raleigh's Planning Commission examined a proposal called Walkable Midtown, a connected commercial and residential district. The plan includes seven big moves, such as two new crossings, including a pedestrian bridge over the Beltline, a network of greenways and bike lanes connecting neighborhoods to major destinations like North Hills, and developing a waterfront district off Crabtree Creek. This plan in its entirety is, is not necessary. Chuck Valdez owns this medical office building on Bush Street. He represents several property owners who are unhappy with the plan. The primary concern with the plan is using taxpayer dollars to enrich a couple of developers and devalue other properties. He wishes the city would focus on existing infrastructure like greenways or developing a medical plaza behind Duke Raleigh Hospital rather than start something from scratch. In the environment of COVID, as we all know, retail and office has taken the biggest hit. So to double down on creating more of the most expensive office and retail is, is not feasible. It's not logical. Well, back live now. City planners said that they have been getting input on this project since 2018. I did reach out to the Planning Commission. I wanted to talk to them not only about this plan, but about the opposition to it. No one was available to talk to me today. I was listening into the four o'clock meeting. Unfortunately, they didn't get to this topic uh, before my deadline. So we're going to reach back out to them to learn a little bit more. I do know the next step is that they're going to present this to City Council, who will then, of course, have to hold a public hearing. Stay tuned for more information. But for now, reporting live in Raleigh, Colleen Quigley. CBS 17 News.